It's nice and dark out here, so you can't see shit. There's my thing now. <clears throat> this does not transmit power through here. What it does is it does gear reduction. So right now, let me uh, figure out how to do this. Right now, this is for driving this big, long screw that moves the lathe automatically. It doesn't work right now. But see, there's my gear. And see, what it does is, if I grab this and uh, push on it, no, I grab this and pull, pull on it, and I have to move it around a little bit to get it to work. <coughs> there. So I moved out, now it's engaged to here. This is going to here. This is going to here. So it's changing the gear reduction, induction from, from here to here. And when I move it back, this isn't being used. This is being used, and this is going from here to here to here instead of from here to here to here. It's very complex. I don't have my brass sleeve in here yet for a bearing. I think I can go ahead and turn it on using this back pulley. I can't turn it on up here because it'll bind too much. Um, and I got the transmission in neutral, so we're not driving that. All we're going to do is drive all these gears. Let's watch it get torn up. Hold on. <laughs> and this will be funny as shit. Make sure I got clearance up here on everything. All right, here we go. <clears throat> and my 85 year old on off switch broke. I got to fix it. So now I have to, I've got it wired in. Wait a minute, I have to turn the transmission on. Hold on. We had it freewheeling. So we want it to turn when this turns. So push this forward. Check it. If the motor was on. Would it turn? Yes. All right. Rock and roll. Let's watch it strip some plastic teeth, all this shit. Uh. <laughs> that shit hasn't worked in decades. I'm talking 20, 30 years. That shit ain't worked. So I'll just disengage it back in a neutral for now. And when my brass thing gets in here, I'm going to pull this off, put the brass insert in there. And then we're going to fire it up and see if we can strip the teeth off when we engage the transmission down here to spin this big screw. See that big screw? It goes up in there and it moves the bed, saddle bed, back and forth. Right now I have to do it all manually. It's a pain in the ass. I want to use my transmission. 